In this video clip, I will show you how to perform and execute the John Keers Terpastra test in SPSS, the test also called trend test. This statistical test is a non-parametric test that can be performed when the dependent uh, variable is continuous that is not normally distributed or ordinal and the uh, independent variable are ordinal so the test is similar to chris carl wallace test for uh, comparing uh, more than two groups when the data are not normally distributed so it is a non-parametric data if you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted three variables. The first variable is an age which has been arranged into categories. So the continuous variable, which is age, has been uh, organized into three classes or three groups. So the first variable is a ordinal variable uh, as it has uh, three uh, categories and these categories are in order. The second variable is a systolic blood pressure, which is a continuous variable or a scale measured on a scale, and it is not normally distributed. And the third variable is uh, um, systolic blood pressure organized into categories. So the data in this variable, the second variable, has been arranged into three categories whether the uh, systolic blood pressure is normal, high, or extremely high. So here we have an ordinal uh, data or variable as there is an order from normal to a uh, high to extremely high. So here three variables. The first variable is ordinal variable. The second one is continuous. The third one is ordinal. And to find out whether there is a difference uh, in the uh, systolic blood pressure between groups of individual uh, who are in the in one of these categories and whether there is a trend or statistically significant trend um, between the uh, independent variable in this case the age independent variable is the age and it is ordinal and the uh, dependent variable which is the systolic blood pressure which can be continuous or can be ordinal so i will show you how to do uh, statistical analysis for both uh, cases uh, when there when the um, dependent variable is continuous or um, ordinal and keeping the uh, independent variable as an ordinal. So this test, which is the John Care, John Keir uh, test or 10 test is used when there is an ordinal independent variable and a, a dependent variable that can be either a continuous that lacks normal distribution uh, a, or a ordinal uh, uh, variable and the way to do that in SPSS is to click on analyze 
then scroll down to non-parametric test and select the independent samples a window will appear and in this window select for the objective customize analysis and then click on the field uh, drag the age group or uh, categories or the ordinal uh, variable into the groups and the uh, test field i will use here in this first instance the uh, continuous variable which is the systolic blood pressure and if i click also in setting and then click on customize test and to perform the uh, uh, john keir 10 test click on the uh, box here and then select multiple comparison for all pairwise comparison so this test will determine whether there is a significant trend between the ordinal uh, independent variable which is the age and the uh, systolic blood pressure which is a continuous if i click on run the software will perform and execute the statistical analysis and will produce an output as shown here for hypothesis testing and a summary is given here and saying that the null hypothesis stating the distribution of the systolic blood pressure is the same across the categories of age which are three categories uh, so the uh, trend test is performed and the p-value is less than 0.05 so there is a statistically significant uh, uh, trend uh, between the age and the systolic blood pressure looking at the second uh, table here it shows the total number of uh, participants 90 the statistics value the standard error and the uh, um, uh, p-value for two-tailed test less than 0.05 the uh, uh, third part here shows the box plot for the three uh, categories of age in relation to the systolic blood pressure as on the x-axis is the three ordered categories so ordinal variable and on the systolic blood pressure is the measurement which is a scale value and the fourth table here or the fourth part is the pairwise comparison uh, between different classes or different categories of age or levels to the systolic blood pressure and as shown here the age category from from 18 to 45 compared to 46 to 70 is statistically significant and uh, comparing another pairwise of uh, this age class with greater than 70 and a third one which is 46 to 70 with uh, uh, greater than 70 so this is a pairwise comparison of uh, the age relative to the uh, systolic blood pressure so from this uh, output it is clearly shown that with um, an increase uh, um, age categories there is an increase of systolic blood pressure to redo the test the trend test uh, or rerun it now with using the dependent variable which is uh, categorial when the systolic blood pressure is arranged into group again click on the um, icon here and then select the test back again to the field uh, remove the continuous variable for systolic blood pressure and replace it with the categorial systolic blood pressure click on setting keep everything the same and then click on run and uh, a new output is generated for looking at the uh, uh, um, trend between the age categories and the systolic blood pressure which is a dependent variable in categories so here we have two ordinal variable the age variable and the systolic blood pressure 
uh, variable. Again, the p level is less than um, p value is less than 0.05, so there is a significant trend between age and uh, systolic blood pressure categories. As shown again in the second table here, the value all is less than 0.05, uh, which indicate that uh, with uh, uh, increase um, age of individuals uh, or increase classes of uh, uh, ages, there is an increase uh, systolic blood pressure. So that is that is the essence of performing uh, trend test to find out whether whether there is a significant trend between dependent and independent variable. Uh, the same output is generated and a pairwise comparison is produced as shown here. Uh, this is the way to perform a trend test in SPSS when the independent variable is ordinal, which must be ordinal, and the dependent variable can be uh, continuous or ordinal. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data, whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.